So here is a minor introduction to array list and the index of method. Now, in the notes, there's plenty more stuff above that when it went over array list, but again, I'm trying to keep this short for you. Array list is going to look like that. Does it have pre built stuff in it? Yes. One of the pre built functions it has in there, and in many of the other collections that are optional for us, is index of. The index of is meaning that it's going to try to go through our array list in this case and find the index of a certain match. So we're going to be overloading the equals operator that we should already have done in our complete class profile. But if not, it's going to be a problem because that's what we're expecting when it comes to our collections. So what does it look like? So this time I'm using an array list. I've created this array list of a whole bunch of index cards. I've added some data to the index cards and voila. Now what I'm trying to do is, is I'm trying to find Jack. So I'm going to go in the array list of TAMU, index of, a new index card of Jack, and it should be the exact same data between all that. Okay. Now, otherwise, greater than negative 1, and I'll go over that here in a moment as well. But what it's going to do is it's going to try to use the equals function to match every single location between the two to see if it's Jack, to see if it's the Dean, to see whatever that last number is. I think it's supposed to be a zip code, but I can't remember. So that's what it's going to try to do. And remember, by the way, the greater than negative one, it's got to be greater than negative one because think about it. If you have an object that matches that is at index zero, this if statement will return zero because it's the first one. Zero is a legit value. But if it doesn't find anything, it might return a negative, it's a negative one or a negative something else. So, but zero is a legit value, so that's why I have to do the greater than one. So then we go ahead and, you know, get our index found, do an if statement, see if it was there, and then go from there. But again, it's got to use that overloaded equals that we went over and did in our base class profile. So just a heads up, and welcome to index off.